Hey YouTube, Tan Brolo here, back with another video of my newest project. This is a P106, a Gigabyte P106 uh, Bitcoin um, mining card. It doesn't have any video outputs and it, it has uh, GTX 1060 um, chips on it and, and memory but it's not for gaming, it's strictly for Bitcoin mining. Turns out it would not work in my computer because I had a third gen Intel CPU. You have to have a fourth gen or newer. So, oh well, um, now I have this card that I couldn't use. My total cost for this computer I put together was uh, $323 Canadian. That's about $240 US. So May of 2019, this is my $240 uh, US, $240 build. I'll show you what the specs are. It's pretty awesome for the price. So as mentioned, the first thing purchased was this uh, Gigabyte P106 card. It cost me $138 Canadian uh, total with shipping um, from the, the Taobao website. And there was also a customs fee and, and that's, that's total cost $138 Canadian for the card. Picked up a CPU and motherboard and RAM combo. Uh, for a hundred dollars, H81M. So verified, um, this this Bitcoin mining card does work with this motherboard. Uh, yeah, so I got the motherboard. The processor uh, came with an i5-4570. That's a quad core 3.2 gigahertz chip. Um, so I got that, and it also comes with uh, eight gigs of RAM. I had to get a heat sink that was $22 or $23 Canadian on eBay. And then I got the power supply and case for $60 bucks off of uh, some, somebody on Craigslist. When I picked it up, it had a DVD-ROM installed in it, so I, I got a DVD-ROM out of it as well. I had an extra hard drive in my closet. This is an old school, it is SATA, um, but it's an old clunky 500 gigabyte drive. So that's the total system, uh, $323 Canadian. Now let's see how this thing runs. Years ago when I first built my uh, desktop computer, I, I was using 3 Mark, and uh, you could see I had an i5-3470 and I had a Radeon R7770 and you could see what my 3 Mark uh, Firestrike score was back then, 2814. And then you can see, I actually got a second one of that same video card and I got it into Crossfire. So you can see Crossfire starts here and then the score keeps going up. See, I was testing, testing, testing. And uh, you can see here when I switched the video card to uh, an R9 270X, that made the scores jump up significantly. And I think I got to around 6,000 uh, and then the scores jump because I switched to this new system. Okay, so the best I had was 6,011. And um, that system cost me thousands to build, by the way. So this new one, my first test run, and uh, was 9,221. And uh, I've played with it some more, did some gentle GPU overclocking, and uh, I'm just under 10,000. So I know I can get there. I haven't uh, overclocked the CPU at all. No modifications needed. Um, that one right there, ending in uh, 1722. So you just download that and you install it as normal. Uh, nothing to it. Then what you have to do is a very simple modification uh, uh, after the install of the NVIDIA driver. You have to go to a command prompt. So you type CMD you know, down, uh, where is it? Down there, type CMD, and that'll open command prompt. And you're gonna open uh, the registry edit tool, and it's it's reg edit, so you just type R-E-G edit, all one word in there, and it'll open up a window that looks like this. Um, what you wanna do is, this is the, 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 the path that you're gonna follow. Uh, yeah, you're searching for a folder called adapter type, and this is the path you follow. Each key, local machine, system, control set, 001, control class, 
this number, right? And there will be a, a, a handful of folders in there. You can see here that what's going to be in there. So it could be in any of those, the, 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 the four zeros or the zero, 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 one, two, three, four. It's going to be in there somewhere. And what you're looking for is right here, adapter type. And what you want to do is change the adapter type to the number four. So when you double click on this, a little box is going to pop up. Just click, uh, select four and then hit OK. And then a little ways further down, there's another um, uh, called Enable MS Hybrid. And what you want to do is change that to one. Okay, so that's it. You just change that to four, change that to one, hit OK, close it, uh, restart your computer. Once you do that, the P106 will, um, will run like a GTX 1060. So when this first became a thing, um, people gaming on a P106, you had to go into graphic settings and um, manually input all of your applications that use the video card and you'd have to select the high performance option. Um, that's what you would have to do previously, but you don't have to do this. All you have to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel and there's a global setting right there. Global settings. Preferred graphics processor and you select your high performance NVIDIA processor, not the onboard one. I also, there's a tab here for the physics um, hardware, and you have to manually tell the NVIDIA control panel uh, what processor to use for the physics. Now I've got GP, uh, GPU-Z running over here, and you can see um, all the specs. The bus interface is a 16X PCI Express, there's uh, six gigs of memory. Also, you can see at the bottom here that uh, physics is enabled. DirectX is working. And also DirectX support, it shows DirectX 12. Um, so this is, it, it, it's, it's like identical to a GTX 1060 for $138 Canadian. 3 Mark has no idea what this GPU is. It correctly shows my uh, motherboard, my processor, my onboard graphics, but for my primary GPU, it's all blank. It's got some clock speeds there that are wrong. In closing, awesome deal. When I first got this card and it didn't work with my third gen, I tried to sell it and nobody wanted it. I'm glad I didn't sell it because now it's, uh, it's working great. If you have a fourth gen or newer Intel CPU and you're looking for uh, an awesome deal on a graphics card, uh, get yourself one of these, the, the P106, less than half the price, uh, roughly, of a, of a comparable GTX 1060. So, great deal. Ken Brolo, signing out.